I mean, when I was a kid, like, when I was younger, all I played with was the X10. Okay. Yeah, so once I saw this was coming out, whew. What's going on, guys? Troy Becker from STX. Today, I'll be taking you through how to string up your new X20. The X20 is the latest iteration of the Excalibur line, one of the most popular in STX history. This is an update on the X10, which came out in 2010, so over 10 years ago. Finally made a bunch of modern updates, and this is the official stringing tutorial. All right, so to start, I already did the top string, and I did one of the sidewall patterns. We'll start on the next sidewall hole, so we tied off on the first one. Start on the second one, like always. We will loop this twice to lock it in. So there's once. And then through the front of the mesh again. Pulling that tight, all the slack out. Loop again. And there's two. And again, that'll just lock that first diamond up against the plastic. We'll come through the mesh once again pull it tight and we will interlock so we'll skip the next hole come down here through the outside of the plastic like so through the front of the mesh and then down through that loop we created and again this will be an interlock pull it tight you get a little knot there we'll skip the next hole in the plastic through the outside, through the front of the mesh, and then down through this big loop that we created. Once again, pull slack, and then pull tight. We are actually gonna use the next sidewall hole, so not skipping through the next one, through the front of the mesh, again, through that, that big hole that we create, Move slack and pull tight. So skip that next one through the outside, up through the front, once again through that hole. All the slack out and then pull tight. As you can see, you're starting to form that channel going down. And then for the last one, we won't skip, we'll use next hole once again through the top same process as before through that loop remove the slack and pull it tight so that forms our channel going down you can go back and stretch this area out break it in after the fact we'll get into forming the pocket so to start we'll do a double so through the back of the mesh and the next diamond and then instead of going through the plastic, we'll go through the next diamond, the back of the next diamond. You'll see there's two diamonds now that hover on that string. And we'll go through the outside of the plastic of the next sidewall hole, and then through this loop that we create. And there's our double. Next will be a single, so instead of going through two holes of the mesh, just go through one. So again, through the back of the mesh, let that string hold the diamond through the outside of the plastic of the next sidewall hole, and then pull it tight. And as you can see, you start to get this pocket forming. Do one more single, so through the back, of the mesh through the next sidewall hole. Next, I like to call it burning a hole. We're not gonna go through the mesh at all. This just prevents the mesh from being able to bag up. So we go through the outside and then over the string, just like we did before. But again, we're not going through any mesh there. And then we'll go back to a single. So we'll go through the back of the mesh, through the outside of that string, and then through that loop for a one and then again we'll burn the next hole so we'll go through the plastic and over that string not going through any pieces of mesh pull it tight and then to tie off we'll go through the back of this nine diamond row 
So it's not the next 10 diamond, it's the nine diamond. So where that, the side hugs the diamond through the back, like so. And then we are going through the front or the inside of that next sidewall hole. We'll pull it tight and then tie our knot as we finish. So I just do a single knot at the bottom, pull all the slack out, and there's our knot. And there's a sidewall pattern. Again, this is the same pattern that we do on the other side to keep it consistent, and then we'll move into the bottom string. I just do a single knot, and then I double wrap the plastic, so we'll go up through the bottom of the first sidewall hole, and then instead of going through the mesh at all, I like to go up through the bottom again, just to prevent that knot from slipping through. When you're playing, the last thing you want is for that knot to slide through the hole in your pocket to become illegal. So I double it up, and then we'll find that nine diamond row we tied off on earlier. We'll go through the front of it, and we'll skip all the way to the fifth diamond. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll go through the back of the mesh, like so and then down through the top of the next bottom string hole. You wanna leave this a little bit loose. So you have a little bit of slack, you can always go back and adjust it later on. And then we'll, we'll go up through the bottom of the next bottom string hole, through the front of that fifth diamond that we used before and then all the way to the end through the back of that last row, that ninth diamond that we tied off on for the sidewall, through the top of the last bottom string hole, and then again, to prevent this knot from slipping through in the future, just go back through and double it up. Pull all your slack. And again, you can go back and adjust this later on if you want the pocket to be deeper. You can give it a little bit more slack. If you want it shallower, you can tighten it up. But the biggest thing is to maintain tension across. We'll do one and a nylon. Some people use zero, some people use three. It's totally up to you. I like to do it on the fourth row and the sixth row. By the fourth, I count down from the diamond that attaches to the top of the plastic. So one, two, three, four follow that all the way across. You should have an open sidewall hole right above it that you can use to start the string. There's plenty of ways to do this. I personally like to weave back and forth across that fourth row, make sure the string lays flat. Over and under the bridges in the mesh all the way till the end, you do the same thing, just alternating over and under the existing string. One way to know if you're doing it right, all the bridges in the mesh should be covered up once you're done. Like so. And then once you have both strings, you can tie off. You wanna make sure that your tension is even all the way across the head. Skip the fifth, and then we'll start on the sixth. Again, you should have an open sidewall hole that you can use. Just like before, weave all the way across. And then, just like before, over and under the existing string. get to the end, you can go ahead and tie off, and there you have it. 